Hey y'all, I'm back. This is another quick video. Um, you know, I would like to say that I'm gonna have these, the schedule for videos. I'm probably not ever going to because as I need to do something that I haven't told someone how to do yet, I'm gonna make a video as I need to do it myself. So I can't really be on a schedule for that. It just depends on what I'm doing from day to day. Anyway, today what we're doing is we're making cold brew coffee. I have, uh, I have about a quart of cold brew left and whenever I get that low, I know that I'm gonna need to make some more because this takes 24 hours to make. So by the time this is ready, this will have been gone. So what I use, well, what I'm using right now, and you can use any kind of coffee that you prefer for this, it doesn't matter. If you like strong, you can use strong. If you like weak, you can use weak. It doesn't matter the brand, it is all your personal preference. I'm not gonna make a whole gallon at a time because I'm the only one that drinks it. And um, if I go through a whole gallon, uh, by the time I'm, <laughs> I don't know, I just don't need to drink that. I will drink it and I don't need to drink that much at a time. So if I only have a half a gallon, I may not drink as much. Um, I learned from my grandpa that you can actually drink coffee 24 hours a day. And you know, it's not necessarily the best thing for you because I've had heart flutters today. And while there's nothing wrong with that, I mean, I'm healthy and all, but it's just annoying. So this is Black Rifle Fit Fuel. And um, <laughs> it's fit fuel because there is extra caffeine in it. So what you wanna do is for every eight ounces of water, you're gonna use eight ounces of coffee. I've already ground this, this was whole bean. Um, and typically you would use eight ounces of whole bean. I don't know how exactly that breaks down once it's ground, but uh, so there's a good chance that I'm probably using more than I should anyway um but it's whatever that's what i'm gonna do that's what i always do and that's probably why i have heart flutters um so if i was to make a whole gallon of this i would use 16 ounces so i've got eight dry ounces and i just toss it in there into the cold water of course i didn't have a spoon handy stir it up and you'll see that a lot of your coffee grounds will appear to stay dry and float on top don't worry about it just make sure to get all of them wet and stir it really well all you're going to do is cover that and put it in your refrigerator for up to 24 hours 24 hours from now I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it next y'all okay I'm back to show you how I strain and store my um, cold brew coffee so I have my empty pitcher here it's been 24 hours it is the uh, following day today is Thursday Friday Eve as we like to say because it makes us feel better about where we are in the week so I got the, I've adopted this tip from Mary's Nest Cooking School. You can find her on YouTube and I'll put a link in, uh, to her channel in the notes on this one. But she uses flour sack towels to strain everything. And what a simple idea that is. I use these for everything now. They're just amazing. And I wash them all together by themselves. Um, in bleach to make sure they stay white as long as possible but these are just amazing they're so much better than cheesecloth um, and just a really inexpensive alternative to pretty much anything that you can buy like a yogurt strainer or anything that you would normally strain these will do the trick so anyway I have my cold brew coffee here with the ground still in it and all I'm going to do I'm gonna Give that a little bit of slack there in the pitcher. Wrap it around, hold it, and just pour it through. You want 
to make sure you get all the all the grounds from the bottom. And the beauty of cold brewed coffee is that um, since it's cold, it's not going to raise your body temperature in the summertime, which that's why I like it so much because I can drink it throughout the day and not get too hot. And um, a few years ago, I knew a barista that worked at one of the coffee bars that my sister and I like to go to, and he used to make the best um, espresso espresso milkshakes. And this is so good for that because coffee is already cold. You don't have to worry about it melting the ice cream whenever you put it into the blender. So. There's just a lot of good, probably unhealthy reasons to like cold brew coffee, but it's one of my vices. I don't have many. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep my cold brew coffee. I don't see me ever not drinking coffee now that I've started. So anyway, I just use those left leftover coffee grounds I put them on my gardenias because my gardenia is like acidic soil. Um, and you can put them in your compost, you can put them on your garden, whatever whatever you want to do with them, you can throw them away. But I don't like to waste anything, so I put them on my garden. Um, and there's that. And so, now you've got cold brewed coffee and you can add coconut milk like they do at Starbucks you can add cream you can add honey you can do whatever you would do with regular coffee um, and it just makes a really delicious refreshing drink so pretty so anyway now you know how to make cold brewed coffee and just like everything you make in advance the secret to keeping it going is before you run out to make some more because um, again this takes 24 hours to do and you probably don't want to run out of this stuff it's good stuff so hopefully that was helpful and if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section if you liked it and it was helpful to you subscribe and like my video share it with whoever you feel like needs to know about cold brew coffee. Thank you.